It's uh, day four of Sheep Week, and I'm with Simon Beatty from Dairy Knock. Simon, can you just tell us a little bit about the makeup of your flock? Uh, yep, so we uh, joined uh, about 380 odd pole dorset ewes and 120 meat maternal ewes this year. Um, studs averaged the scan 177%, so um, we generally sell a bit over 200 dorset rams and 60 odd meat maternals. Yep. Um, which we're lifting up a little bit every year. Um, these are some of our Dorset rams that will be sale this year. All July drops, so nearly 12 months old. Um, just We've just got some rams here from different bloodlines with different lots of performance figures highlighting different things. Um, yep. Some of the sort of key things for your sheep in terms of structure or... Um, yep, so we try, um, we're breeding a moderate framed ram, um, focusing on early maturity. Um, feet and legs, clean head, clean points are all paramount to our breeding program. Um, every sheep is assessed structurally before we look at any performance data. Um, and then yeah, focusing on those traits that help that early maturity, so early growth and moderate fat and high growth. Um, yeah. Gestation length is one thing that we've been highlighting today, that's something that a lot of people are becoming more interested in. Um, having a big focus on lamb survival so we can use a more moderate birth weight ram with a shorter gestation so we get a good sized lamb at birth but minimise the lambing difficulties. So gestation length and, and worm egg counts is the other one there, two things that we've focused a lot on over the last um, two or three years. Yeah, great. Um, and now the eating quality traits are coming through as well. So um, sort of just starting to focus on them as so part of our breeding program as well. Yeah, let's move to your, your um, meat maternals. So just tell us a bit about the evolution of these. Uh, so our meat maternal rams started about 10 or 12 years ago, um, predominantly with the east region and the Dorset. Um, trying to maximise um, growth and carcass, fertility and milking ability. We felt that the milking ability had sort of been forgotten about a bit when people were chasing a um, number of lambs weaned or fertility. Um, and then we added some, a bit of border ester for a bit more fat and the black feet and nose. Um, and that's where we've basically got to today. Um, sort of trying to aim for a 65 to 70 kilo ewe. Um, yeah, and they've, they've east, meat maternal commercial ewes have scanned 178% this year, which is, I think they've averaged just over 180 now for the last five years. Yep. Um, and we're focusing heavily on ewe efficiency there too, so trying to get those ewes to rear their body weight in lambs at 100 days. Yep. Um, and our best ewes at 65 to 70 kilos are rearing over 100 kilos of lamb at 100 days. Um, so our aim then is to get as many of them as we can. Mm. So obviously they've got to make up for the ewes having singles. Um, but yeah, I, I'm aiming for an overall efficiency um, of 100% um, as we move forward. Yeah, and I'll just scroll, we'll, we'll just leave those girls yep. there. But um, just in closing, Simon, uh, you're on property sale and, and a few sort of key points for someone that want to buy your sheep. When... Um, yep, so um, obviously the flock's always open here. Our MN3 status, um, performance recorded, brucellosis tested. Um, our on property sale is always the second Thursday in October. Um, so this year it's the 12th. Yep. Um, about 140 Dorset rams, um, and we offer everything. We don't keep any rams ourselves, so the best rams are always um, for offer. About 40 meat maternals, and we generally put about 30 Dorset ewes of that year's drop in. Um, we'll also be at um, Cheapvention every year, which is the first Monday in August. Yeah. Um, and yeah, other than that, we've got a, a web page now, and. Um, trying to get modernised in the social media, yeah. so we've got Facebook and everything, so people can find us and message us with any questions at any stage. So, Great. I'm um, really pleased that Stock and Land's um, created this Sheep Week, and um, we're very pleased to be to be part of it, so yeah. I hope people support it again next year. Yeah, we're, we're really pleased to have someone as quality as you in, in, the, day, in the week, and uh, look forward to having you next year. Thanks no again. Worries. Thanks, Justin.